The goal of the video today is to teach you something that it took me so long to learn how to do, which is how to build 16 inch arms. And so here's the thing to know. Number one, your arm is built like 70% triceps and like 30% biceps, but the biceps are more prominent. Both have three heads to them. One thing to note is that arms are difficult to build because they are smaller muscles in relation to bigger muscles like your chest or your legs or your shoulders, etc. And as a result, it's much more difficult to do progressive overload for your arms. What does that mean? So let's say you're gonna work out your chest and you're gonna do a set of five by five. And let's say you start with 135 pounds. The next time you go to the gym, you can add just 2.5 pounds on each side. So five pounds. So five over 135, that's like 3.75%. Very easy to progressive overload. But let's say you just did curls. You did curls with 25 pounds. If you increase by five pounds, that's five over 25. You've increased the weight by 20.8%. 20, 20 so it's not realistic to expect that you'll do the same set. And so how do you figure out how to progressive overload with arms? Well, for the longest time, whenever I would read literature about bodybuilding, all the PDFs indicated that the best place to do hyper hypertrophy building muscle was in the five to eight rep range. But I realized that that's actually like not that important. What really matters is the blood flow to the muscle and the strength of the mind muscle connection. And so what I did is I increased the number of reps. So I do 12 reps on each side every time I do a set and I'll typically do four sets and it's exhausting. I started doing this until I got to the point where I was lifting 55 pounds on each side. And then I realized that that's actually not that healthy. I was doing like five reps of 55 pounds on each side. And I realized that if I did this, I have a high probability of getting injured. I'll either injure my elbow or I'll injure my stomach and that's not what I wanted to do. So then instead I said, okay, I'm gonna do 20, 12 reps on each side of 35 and I'm gonna use wrist guards to make sure that I'm not using my wrist and they're no longer a limiting factor. And I'm gonna use a belt. You can get this for like $12 on Amazon. I I highly recommend getting the flexible belts because they'll like fit in your backpack really easily. And the positive impact they have on my workouts is, is hard to quantify. It's so good. Since I started using a belt, I just haven't gotten injured. Same thing for using the wrist guards. And I'll use it like for most exercises. I use it when I do bench. I'll use it when I do curls. And many years ago, I actually developed an umbilical hernia. My belly button was tearing it a little bit inside. And I'm like, one of the things that caused it was I was doing curls with both hands, with both arms at the same time with a pretty heavy weight. And it causes a lot of strain on your abdominals without really any like support. And so this helps really with stability. All right, so the first exercise we're going to go over is 35 pounds, 12 reps on each side, bicep curls. So let's go over that. So these things are called power blocks. They're amazing workout equipment to have in your house. They're about $260, I think, on Amazon. And you can adjust the weight all the way from 15 pounds to 90 pounds per side. So I do 12 reps on each side. I really focus on the contraction at the top, but then I squeeze the tricep at the bottom. Do the same thing on the other side. And I like to bring the weight a little bit in front of my body. And what I do is I pinch my elbows against my lats. The other thing you wanna do when you do curls is roll your shoulders back like this. And then isolate so you're not using your shoulders, you're using your biceps instead. So like I said, when I get energy around something, I just go ham, like beast mode. So for example, I got really into doing bicep curls and I decided that this was going to be the exercise for the next couple of weeks that I was going to focus on. And I decided I was going to get really good at doing 35 pounds, 12 sets and four reps. And so this was like the first time I recorded it. I did 35 by 12 and then 40 by 12 at 80% quality, 35 by nine at 90% quality and then 30, 25 by three and then 25 by 12. This is like the maximum that I could do. By the next day, I had already built myself a chart. And then every day subsequent, I just increased increased, 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 increased until I got really good at doing it with 35 pounds and 40 pounds. And then I started increasing the reps to 15 reps, et cetera, et cetera. And all that goes along with also making sure that you eat enough. So if you make a goal, whether it be in fitness or reading or improving yourself in any way, the first step is to set out what the goal is, write it down, and then build actionable steps that you could take towards building it. And then experiment, 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 and then figure out what is the thing that works specifically for you and then stay consistent with it. And that's it. No matter what you decide to do, you can figure it out. It's just a matter of trying.